Oh, geez. that's a good one for sure. First fish on slow pitch. What is going on guys and today I am with a different kind of a video there is some fishing involved but I'm here to show you some new products today guys um, from Gotrur actually G-O-T-U-R-E it is a Chinese fishing company but they are actually have some really cool products that I wanted to show share with you guys including these waders that I have on right now these are full body waders as you can see they're pretty dirty right now because I actually use them a lot for fishing they're fully waterproof they're awesome and they're gonna cost you a fraction of the price that name brand waders are gonna cost you and also we've got the Gotur aluminum fully aluminum rod rack right here as well which I just finished putting together this thing is sweet it's real aluminum with a finish to prevent rust as well for the price it's only 69 dollars compared to a lot of more high-end brands um, made of aluminum as well that can cost hundreds of dollars i mean this thing can hold 24 rods so it's a full-size rack and it's really good quality it doesn't require any tools to put it together um, and i put it together in like 10 minutes it's really easy and it's solid this thing can hold big old conventional reels pretty much anything guys these are go tours slow pitch jigs another thing that i've been super super excited to get into guys slow pitch jigging or slow jigging and vertical jigging in general is kind of a new way to fish and i haven't done a whole lot of it very eager to learn it and i took these guys out for a spin they're only ten dollars compared to a lot of vertical jigs we can start at 50 to 100 dollars at least depending um, on the brand so ten dollars a jig really isn't bad they've got really strong mustad hooks on them and here's what happened <laughs> Want any more of these? Oh, geez. that's a good one for sure. First fish on slow pitch. Feels good this time. Not a grunt. <laughs> it's a big grunt if it's a grunt. <laughs> Giant grunt. Yes. 
Are like you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he snagged it too. Look at that. That's crazy. That's why it's bomb. Uh, yeah, you can eat good. these, right? They supposedly you can, yeah. I've never caught one. That's awesome, man. Well, you, I guess he didn't technically eat it. He just got snagged, but caught pretty good. That's why he's fighting so good. That's what I get. Loosen the drag. You've been popping them off. Loosen the drag. You've been pulling them. Loosen the drag. <laughs> It's probably a grunt, bro. <laughs> it smells that dude. Oh! Is that a Remora? Or it's a little cobia. Yes! It is a cobia. First cobia! Oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome! Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> It's a water snake. I thought it was a remora for sure. Oh, he hooked him in the eye. Oh, poor dude. You won't be able to eat him anymore. He's definitely flying. <laughs> Watch out, like a big spine up off their back. You don't really want to grab it. Dude, it's so sick, bro. It's still a code. Cove. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was ready to go. He's like, I got hooked in the eye. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, we had a lot of fog that day. So fishing was limited to a couple of shallow reefs just to be safe. Obviously guys, when you got foggy weather, be careful. Very careful out there guys, cause it's dangerous. Anyways, this is the setup I was using out there for vertical jigging. Um, I might get torn up in the comment selection because this is not a vertical jigging setup. Um, this is a BG 8K, 8,000 size, biggest BG they make. 80 pound braid on a pen mariner rod and 50 pound leader to this slow pitch gochur jig or slow pit or gochur slow jig. And this is the color I was using, just a silver bait fish design. The other thing that was really cool I noticed after taking the jig home is that this little white part on the back here actually glows in the dark. Really, really cool, had no idea. So I guess when you get down to a deeper depth, that is when that starts kicking and glowing. Really cool jig. These hooks are very, very sharp. Must add hooks did not bend out. The tips are very sharp still. And I got to catch my first cobia. It wasn't a very big one, but still got to catch them. Overall guys, I'm very impressed with Gochur's stuff, especially their slow pitch jigs. Definitely check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. And until next time, I'm Gabe Feltman with the Florida Bass TV. Stay tuned.